of big stories following around the country tonight. That's why Stormwatch is all about. Each and every hour at about 10 minutes till, we focus on the active weather around our country. Now, in New York City Metro, we're seeing some incredible storms. We'll look at those. Also, want to mention right now a brand new severe thunderstorm warning. You need to seek shelter in Washington County, Rhode Island. A severe thunderstorm indicated there by radar. First of all, let's talk tropics with our tropical update to start off this storm watch, which is being sponsored by the Home Depot. All right, here's the big story. Hurricane George. We've been dealing with this thing for 10 days now. You can look across and see toward the Cape Verde region. That's where it became classified as a tropical storm a number of days ago. You can follow its path all the way to its present location, 115 miles to the east, southeast of New Orleans, with sustained winds of around 110 miles per hour. Now, the pressure is at uh, 9, 961 millibars, 28.23 inches of mercury. You can see it's at 29.3 north, 88.5 west, in case you were uh, uh, plodding along at home. That's its present location because of its proximity already to land. That's why we have a number of hurricane warnings in effect. Anything in this dark red shading from Morgan City, Louisiana, on toward Panama City means that within 24 hours, and in most cases, much faster than that, means that hurricane warning is in effect. You are pretty much in a spot now with an imminent threat of hurricane conditions. That means incredible wind for one thing. You could easily see a number of very, very strong uh, uh, winds, or a lot of very strong wind moving in shortly because, for example, from the center of circulation, think about this, on the eastern side of it, on the eastern side of the circulation itself, hurricane force winds extending out 70 miles. And beyond that, on the eastern side, northeastern side, tropical storm force winds extending out 185 miles per hour. It's an amazing storm as it moves in, not out of the question, it may strengthen just a little bit further. I want to bear that in mind, too. Hurricane watches, and be kind of uh, aware of things here, too, anywhere from intercoastal city, Louisiana, on toward Morgan City. Whenever you see a tropical system interacting with land, something we often see are tornadoes. We have had reports of tornado warnings being issued in this area. Nothing uh, active right now. We haven't seen any warnings for tornadoes in this region uh, in the last few minutes. But again, a tornado watch means tornadoes are possible in and close to this watch area. Panhandle of Florida, bits of Mississippi, also in the portions of uh, Alabama as well, big chunk of it. In addition to that, we could see some incredible rains. Rains may be in the 10 to 15 inch range over the next few days as the system makes some very slow progress along the coast. That would be very devastating in this area, as you can well imagine. But again, you could see that in the 10 to 15 inch range in this area. Also, storm surge. That's another big thing to think about. Storm surge could be anywhere from 10 to 15 feet above normal levels. And toward the mouths of some bays, it could be around 17 feet. So you need to be very careful in these areas as well. Looking at a present radar picture, you can see the center of circulation. You can already see some of the rain bands moving in. Incredible rain through here, as you'll see some images of in just a few moments. There's a look at the center of circulation. Again, still, it's been slowing up as of late. May continue to do that. May even strengthen a bit on the way in. In addition to Hurricane George, we have two other hurricanes to talk about. One of those being Jean, and the other one being Carl. First of all, Hurricane Carl, 900, or rather 560 miles west of the Azores, moving at 80 miles per hour. It's moving eastward and uh, should kind of accelerate a bit, weakening as it goes, and it should be soon to be considered an extra-tropical system, no longer even truly classified as a tropical system. Hurricane Jean, beginning its gradual turn toward the north-northeast. Don't expect any real major change in its strength, but again, that, as long with uh, Carl and Jean, neither one should really pose a threat to the U.S. Tonight, there are some real threats in the U.S. along the front primarily. Pretty stormy into the northeast. Tonight, we have a severe thunderstorm watch, in effect, for parts of New England. Very stormy night still around New York City metro. These are primarily big wind producers. Expect some wind and some rain, even around New London County, New Haven County, too. It's been pretty stormy around Rockland as of late. But even through New York City metro, expect some rain, some of the heavier storms presently, into Connecticut. We'll talk more about the happenings in the Northeast, also look at uh, Jean, and even talk a bit about some snow across the western U.S., and have the Monday forecast next in Weather Center. Hurricane George hasn't made landfall yet, but it's already pounding parts of the Gulf Coast. The very latest conditions, plus your weather, ahead on Weather Center. This program was sponsored by The Home Depot. As a customer, you're so important to us that you should have the best price all the time. Hurricane George is bearing down on the Gulf Coast. Residents from Louisiana to Florida are preparing for the worst. 
And in the northeast, we have been following a line of severe thunderstorms this evening. The latest information on that situation is just minutes away. Good evening, I'm Warren Madden. And I'm Christina Abernathy. We begin this half hour with the latest on George. And for that, we go to Mike Seidel in the Forecast Center. And Hurricane George is battering the Gulf Coast tonight. High winds, big waves, tropical rainfalls, and this situation will continue into Monday, maybe into Tuesday, as the hurricane now begins to slow down and it may be intensifying. We'll have a full update and we'll get some expert analysis from John Hope coming up, plus live reports. First, though, let's show you what the Hurricane Center is telling us as of 7 Central. And you can see uh, the track of George almost a straight line from its beginnings 10 days ago, 10 days ago. Winds now sustained at 110 miles an hour. It is moving very slowly, north-northwest at 8, and it is southeast of New Orleans. If you're plotting at home, 29.3 north, 88.5 west. And the hurricane warnings remain unchanged. These are the areas where we've already had evacuations. Uh, take a look all the way from Morgan City over towards New Orleans, the Mississippi Delta over towards Mobile, Biloxi, Gulfport, Pensacola, as far east as Panama City. East of there, we have a tropical storm warning. And then west of Morgan City over to Intracoastal City, we have a hurricane watch. And we've had live reports all weekend as we've seen uh, the hurricane move ever so close to the Gulf Coast. And we have team coverage tonight. Jim Cantori is uh, on the Gulf Coast in Gulfport. He just recently moved to get out of harm's way. Kristen Dodd is in Pensacola, and we'll start it off with Bill Keneally tonight. Bill is in New Orleans, and tonight, Bill, uh, those of you in New Orleans are certainly boarded up, ready for the worst, but so far, uh, just some wind and rain. That is correct, Mike. We continue to have that north wind, and it's a very important direction because it is not allowing that Gulf of Mexico water to get up into Lake Bourne nor Lake Pontchartrain. But that said, there's still a lot of high surf out there. Let's show you some pictures from the Lake Pontchartrain South Shore. These were shot about five miles northwest of here, over there by the causeway, and they'll show the crashing surf coming down. It looks like it built up a little mini surge over the lake, too. No video? All right, tell you what we'll do then. I want to just talk about what's going on here. We've had a uh, thunderstorm rock the area in the last 20 minutes. That rain has let up considerably, but still. <laughs> All right, we've got the video now showing the activity of earlier today in the daylight hours, and that was a very strong north wind, gusting at times 40 to 55 miles per hour, whipping up some very large waves and bringing in some water across the uh, Lakeshore Drive. It did not breach any of the levee system set up there, but uh, nonetheless, it was fairly high surf at the time. So we're in pretty good shape here. We should hold the north wind. Folks in Biloxi and also into Pensacola, not near as lucky as they are on the right side of the hurricane. And let's get a report now from Crispin Dodd in Pensacola. Oh, Bill, you really said it. We're not as lucky as you are at this hour as we are being hit by torrential downpours and very strong winds. I am standing in downtown Pensacola and behind me is the Three Mile Bridge, one of the bridges that leads over to the Barrier Islands. That now has been shut down traffic over as we have seen hurricane force gusts here in Pensacola in the past couple of hours. The rain has been a huge problem, well over five inches of rain in many areas. Also just the waves coming in from the bay. We have many roads flooded throughout downtown Pensacola. The beaches are even getting more of the brunt of this storm. We have reports of many roads just being washed out. A lot of the waves having now washed over the roads and are undermining many of the homes. Folks that we talk to here who live through uh, Aaron and Opal, they say that this is much worse because we're getting a combination of everything. The heavy, heavy rain, very strong winds, the storm surge, and also the very, very high crashing waves. Back to you. All right, Kristen, we're in Gulfport, uh, Mississippi here. We moved in from Biloxi, and I want to show you, uh, as we look down the street here, truly only the vehicles that should be out tonight are police vehicles. Uh, there is a curfew out tonight here in Harrison County. No one should be on the road. As you can see, we still have power. We are sustained at tropical storm force, occasionally gusting 60, uh, possibly 65 miles an hour, but not yet. And a lot of the signage is still here. But folks, think about this. If we get to 75 miles an hour, you are going to see a lot of these signs go and possibly the power as well. So the police are definitely helping to man the roads tonight and they're doing a great job doing so. Let's take our storm cam shot. You're looking across the street and you can see here how the uh, signage and the stop signs are swaying with the wind. Very, very strong and again sustained out of the northeast right now. And occasionally we'll get that monster gust that comes through anywhere from 60 to 65 miles an hour. Looks like a rough night here in Gulfport, Mississippi. Back to you. 
Okay, Jim, thanks for the update. Jim Cantori of the Weather Channel in Gulfport. And as you saw, he's getting wet and getting blown around. Kristen Dodd getting hammered. And we want to go to Louisiana right now. Lieutenant Mike Evanson of the Louisiana State Police has an update on road closures. We heard earlier, Lieutenant, that a lot of the roads east of New Orleans are shut down and for good reason. That, that's exactly right. What we're looking at now is we're watching the weather coming into the New Orleans area. And if uh, getting into or out of the New Orleans area is impossible at the time, uh, we've got it shut down at 7 o'clock curfew in the New Orleans area. We've got some troopers that are up on some of the raised portions of the interstate uh, passing through there, and, and we've got some wind gusts in excess of uh, 55 miles an hour that have been reported to us. So we've got a lot of wind. We know the rain's coming. Uh, you're looking at some video now of, uh, around uh, the Lake Pontchartrain area and some of the, the waves we've got there. You know, you have New Orleans that is uh, under sea level, about three feet below sea level. So the problem we've got with the rain and stuff that can come into the New Orleans area on, uh, on just some heavy rain. So with the hurricane force winds and rain coming in, that, that poses even more of a problem there. We've got all our troopers that are out working that would have normally be off. We've got about 180 troopers uh, in the area between Baton Rouge, New Orleans. And, uh, we're, of course, we're monitoring and we're going to be continuing monitoring it throughout the night. Okay, Lieutenant, we appreciate the update. Lieutenant Mike Edmondson of the Louisiana State Police. Again, the interstates uh, north and east of New Orleans have been closed. So, uh, again, heed the advice, stay home, and don't ignore the curfew. Let's bring in our hurricane expert now, John Hope, who we've, uh, we've been following this, it seems like, for I went on vacation. We had the hurricane. I'm back now, and it's still here, and it's slowing down. That is uh, not good news tonight. It's been a hurricane, I think, for nearly 10 days. And, yes, it is slowed down quite a bit, but some perceptible movement, though, toward the north. I don't think it's ever stopped altogether. It's getting uh, edging up a little bit closer to the Mississippi coast there. And we're seeing a rather considerable pressure falls up here around Gulfport and, and uh, Biloxi. Does that have you concerned as far as intensification? Well, maybe, but we have thought a few other times that this was uh, hurricane was intensifying. It looked sometimes like it's going to on satellite pictures for two or three hours, and then we wind up right back where we were. And essentially, we haven't had any change in the uh, maximum wind speed now for over 24 hours. Well, that's some promising news, but the fact that it's slowing down means uh, a lot of rainfall, the risk of flooding, and uh, this is a serious situation if it sits here for a couple of days. Well, it is, and uh, it's serious anyway, because uh, as it edges up toward Mississippi there, along to the right of where that center crosses the coast, we expect to have a considerable storm surge. We're talking about something in the order of 15 feet, perhaps, Let's take a look at the rainfall now and get an idea, once again, where the eye is sitting in the very slow movement of the hurricane. But notice something we've seen over the past couple of hours is the fact that the eye wall on the south and uh, southwest side has wrapped around uh, the center. That's the first time we've seen an eye where the...